Hello guys and welcome to the fourth episode of the Minecraft Modern Tutorial series. In today's episode, we're going to be creating our first block. So let's get started. In the lists, we're going to create a new list, obviously called block list. And we're going to declare a new block, public static block, and the name of your block, mine will be tutorial block. Control shift out to import block and make sure you choose net.minecraft.block.block and give that a save. We can close out of block list for now. Then here down in register in the registry events class, we're going to create a new register function. Rename this to register blocks. Change the registry event to a block registry event. Control shift out to import block. Again, make sure you choose the correct one. And then remove this item. And inside of here, we're going to register our own block. Block list dot tutorial block equals a new block. And inside of here, we're going to have block dot properties dot create. It wants us to take in a block material. So put material dot and then there's lots of different types you can have a look through each of these materials if you want and figure out what their properties are but for now i'm just going to choose materials to iron and then we can add after this lots of different properties about the block you can do dot then there's hardness and resistance there's two options for this there's one that takes in the same value for both hardness and resistance and there's one that takes in different values of hardness and resistance. So we'll take the different what values one. And obviously you can mess around with the different um, values to try and figure out um, what's more appropriate for the block you want to create. But you can put something like 2.0F, referring to float. If you don't know what that is, you probably should. And for the resistance, I'm gonna put 3.0F. I'm not really sure how this affects things. As I said, you'll have to test it for yourself to figure out um, what happens um, for yourself. There's also the light value um, property. Um, this takes in um, an integer and between one and 15, I believe. Um, and this is how light, how much light the uh, block emits. So things like glowstone will emit light and redstone lamps etc and if you're you want your block to emit a light level then you can add this property if you don't want it to you can either put zero or you can just not have the property whatsoever i'm gonna put a five for now so i can demonstrate how this works dot sound this is the sound that you want to make when your block breaks so put sound type dot and there's lots of different um, types here. I'm gonna put the metal um, sound, but you can again tr um, try out different sounds and decide which one is most relevant to your thing. In a future tutorial, I will show you how to create your own custom sounds. Um, but for now, I'll just choose one from the basic Minecraft sounds. Dot set registry name. This will be exactly the same as the um, where we did it for items, so put location and then put tutorial block. So we have created our block um, and set the material, the hardness, the resistance, the light, the sound, and the registry name. To Minecraft, a block is just the thing you place down. The thing you're holding in your hand um, when you place down the block is actually an item. So, and this is something called an item block. We actually need to register this inside of the register items function. So put a comma and leave some space between the actual items and the blocks. We need to go back into item list and add our own tutorial block inside of item list. So public static item tutorial block. And then in here, item list dot tutorial block 
is equal to a new item block. This takes in a block um, itself. So block list dot tutorial block. And it also takes in um, an item properties. So new item dot properties dot group. So we're going to set the um, creative tab for our um, block here. We can do item group. You can put it in misc as well, or you can put it in building blocks, or you can put it wherever you want. The next tutorial will actually be on creating your own creative tab. So um, if you're looking forward to that, leave a like down below and subscribe so you don't miss that tutorial. And we also need to set the registry name. And you need to import this first with Control Shift O. Then you can put dot set registry name. You can put block list dot tutorial block dot get registry name. That'll mean that whenever we update the registry name for the block, it will also update it for the item block as well. You don't want to change this item is registered here in the logger to blocks registered. And we have successfully declared our own block. But as I said in the last episode, if we leave it there, then there will be errors with names and textures and models. So we're going to have to go into source main resources. But unfortunately for us, blocks also require an additional thing on top of lang models and textures. We're going to have to actually create something called a block state. Dot block states. Create that package inside of assets tutorial mod. And a block state. Basically, a block can be in lots of different states. So it can change depending on external factors or internal factors, such as something called a tile entity. Um, so things that are going on inside the block will change the appearance or the way it interacts with people, etc, etc. There's lots of different ways you can change a block and lots of different block states that block can be in. But for now, our block state is going to be in the default block state. So you're going to go into um, client data, assets, Minecraft, block states, and find the most generic thing possible, which I think we can use an iron block. This is very generic. It only has one variant, which is just the default variant, which is a blank quotation marks. So inside of block states, create a new text file, paste that in, save it, tutorial mod source main resources assets tutorial mod block states and call it tutorial underscore block dot json close it open it again and it'll be in our text editor and then the model here we're going to need your mod id tutorial mod colon block slash and then the name of your block tutorial block and this is telling um, for this default block state we're going to go to the tutorial block model which we're going to create in a second if there were lots of different other variants we could have it set to different models so it would look differently depending and we will do that in a future tutorial now in the lang file we're going to need our um, a second entry in here, so put a comma. Then you can change this to block dot tutorial mod dot tutorial block and change this to tutorial block. So this block will be named tutorial block. Then models, we're going to need to create a models dot block. And again, we're going to look at the Minecraft default models, models block. And again, we're going to look at the iron block as it's just quite basic, it doesn't have any special properties. So copy that, create a new text file, paste it in, save it. And name it as tutorial block dot json close it open it 
Um, and before this, put your mod ID. Tutorial um, mod colon block slash and then tutorial block. Blocks actually need an item model as well as they have their own items. These are very, very simple though. Um, as you can see, we'll go into the item iron block. It's literally just one line parent. So that's the thing. It's basically this item model is just completely based off of the block model itself. So create a new untitled text file, paste this in there, change this to tutorial underscore tutorial mod colon block slash tutorial block. Give this a save, paste it into, um, save it in the model's item, call it tutorial block dot json, and there we are, we have our item model created as well. Finally, we're going to need to create a textures.blocks textures.block, sorry, go into paint.net. If you downloaded the default textures from last episode, um, then you can just look inside of the default textures. Um, if not, there's a link to them in the description, or you can just create your own 16 by 16 texture. For plain blocks like ours, um, the texture will be put on every single side of the block. But there are ways of doing it so that you can have different textures on each side and i'll be showing them in future tutorials or you can just look it up so i'm going to open up the iron block texture here and i'm going to fill it with the orange overlay and then going to save it so once you've created your texture you can save it in your mod file inside of textures block and then name it to tutorial block PNG. Close your um, editor and um, refresh everything and then we're going to have to run the game again from our special file unless as I repeat from every other tutorial um, you are running in a newer version in which case this issue should be fixed but you can run run client.bat boot into the game and look inside of miscellaneous scroll down we have the block here tutorial block and tutorial item so if it's named correctly and it shows up good in your hand place it down to make sure it um, works inside of the game as well as you can see everything is working as it's intended to so that's great and thank you for watching this tutorial guys if you have enjoyed it please leave a like down below and subscribe for more my name has been harry and goodbye